instruments need humidity to be structurally sound, and for tonal reasons as well. Recently, I was exhibiting some of my guitars at a guitar festival in Colorado. Taylor Guitars was also present, so I asked them if they would be interested in saying a few words about the importance of humidity in guitar construction and care. As we head into the fall season in the Northern Hemisphere, humidity levels start to drop, so this is a good reminder to be aware of humidity levels where you play and store your guitars. Let's listen to the advice Andy Lund from Taylor Guitars gives on the subject. Uh, Robbie O'Brien, O'Brien Guitars. I'm here at Copper Mountain doing the uh, Guitar Town event and I'm here with Andy Lund from Taylor Guitars and uh, Andy is going to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, care and feeding of the instrument. I get a lot of questions about you know how to maintain the instrument and stuff so I thought I'd go to the source and uh, Andy's going to explain for us. Well, thanks Robbie. Um, yeah well especially here uh, in Colorado where most of the most of the year the air is really dry. Right. Um, that's probably something that you have to pay really close attention to if you have a guitar in Colorado um, because guitars are happy uh, when they're happy when they're around 45% uh, relative humidity is, is if that's what's going on in the air that's where the guitars are happy and whenever the heat comes on in the winter time or even in this case just the, the mountain air dry about there, yep. it's super dry and what happens uh, a, a properly humidified guitar acoustic guitar usually has about an ounce and a half of water in it that's, it's healthy then, that's where the cells are, are healthy and it's, it, it still sounds good as a guitar, uh, but it also, uh, it's not gonna have any problems with drying out. And what happens when the guitar gets dry is that all the, the cells in the wood start to shrink. Right. Um, and usually the first telltale signs are that when you, if you have a guitar, you'll notice that a, a properly humidified guitar usually has a little bit of an arch to the top of it. But if you look at, if, at your guitar, say you're, you're wondering if your guitar is too dry, and if you notice that the top is sunk, that's probably a good sign right. uh, that it's drying out and it needs to be humidified. Okay. And like I said, guitars are happy at around 45% humidity. And really the best way to know uh, if your guitar is healthy or not is to just get yourself a little digital hydrometer. Right. You can get them at most uh, hardware stores. Mm -hmm. Uh, make, make sure it's a digital one and not an analog one with a meter because those are not very uh, accurate. Right. Um, but you can get one at a hardware store and there's actually a lot of guitar st stores nowadays that stock them. And just put that little, that little. it's usually powered by a 9 volt battery or a double A battery and you just put it right in your guitar case, close your case and within a couple of minutes you'll have a real accurate picture of what's going on inside your guitar case uh, and where your guitar is, is, uh, is living, so to speak. Um, because. We, we can get fooled real easily by, you know, somebody says, well, I don't have to worry about it because it's really humid outside. Right. Well, it's humid outside, but inside your house, you got your air conditioner running. Right. Or uh, perhaps in the wintertime, you know, you got your heater running. So um, what's really important is not necessarily what the weatherman's saying, but to know what is going on where your guitar is living. Right. So a couple of solutions or a couple of ideas that we like to tell people about is that, you know, if you have a, a guitar collection, uh, if you have a couple, three guitars or acoustic guitars, if you've got an extra room that you keep them in, a bedroom or something, you can just get a little portable room humidifier, right? Uh, keep the door closed, keep water in it, in it, and then just set it at 45, and then whenever it gets below that, it'll take care of itself. The room will stay humidified. Right. But if you're taking your guitar out, um, out with out to play and out to festivals or, or to jam or to gigs or whatever um, it's probably really important especially right here in Colorado where you should just have a humidifier in your guitar all the time and the one the one thing that uh, I think a lot of us are guilty of sometimes is uh, is yeah we, there's a, a humidifier in my guitar but is there any water in it exactly <laughs> right and when's the last time you checked it because that's it, it's amazing how quickly it can dry out um, we have a at Taylor we have a a, what we call a 24-hour rule where we take a, a guitar and we'll take a damp it humidifier and a damp it is just a sponge right with the garden hose a garden it right. looks like a little short garden hose and you run it under water and you squeeze it out you know squeeze out the excess water take a towel and blot dry it so that it can't drip inside your guitar you don't want it to be so wet that it's gonna dry or it's gonna drip inside your guitar and then put the damp it in the guitar in between the D and the G strings, close the case and leave it like that for 24 hours. And then come back the next day, and if that dampet is dry, then if the guitar is still absorbing the right. moisture from the dampet, it needs more water. Right. So you keep doing that, uh, you know, put a new one in there, and 24 hours later, come back and check it. it. You keep doing that until you come back after 24 hours, 
and it's actually still wet. And when it's still wet, that means the guitar is happy and it's, right. it's absorbed enough moisture. Right. Um, and then every few days, then make sure that damp gotta, stays moist. That's the thing because right. people say, "Oh, I got it one in my case." Well, when's the last time you put water in? Right. It's, it's easy to forget that. And coming in and out of different seasons and different climates, uh, sometimes it'll, it, the water in there will stay, you know, damp. It, damp it will stay wet for a long time, and sometimes it'll dry out in 12 hours, just right. depending on where you are. Right. Um, so it's really important and. Um, you know, good, good good guitars are made out of solid woods, like the guitars that you have over there are beautiful. And uh, to make them, if we if we built them so uh, they wouldn't be affected by weather, they wouldn't sound very good. Right. Because exactly. they have to be thin enough to breathe, and they have to uh, be able to speak. And and with and with really thin pieces of wood that are solid, uh, you have to keep them properly humidified, or else they're going to crack. Exactly. Andy has given us some great tips. I can't stress enough how important humidity is in the construction and maintenance of a musical instrument. So keep those guitars humidified and happy building and playing.